Hello and welcome to video number two on addition and subtraction with integers. This time we're going to look at larger numbers. Just a reminder, we have this chart in the upper right that you should memorize in order to get down which operations to use and which signs your answers will be. So let's get started. Question number one says 47 plus 24. Well, there's no sign in front of 47, so we are going to assume that 47 is positive. That gives me a positive and a positive, which is addition with an answer that will be positive. So let's start here. We have a uh, positive answer, and we have to add 47 plus 24. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a base 10 addition strategy here. I'm going to break 24 up into a multiple of 10 and the ones place. So I know I have a positive answer. I have 47 will stay. And 24 is 20 plus 4. When I go to add 47 and 20, all I have to do is really 4 plus 2. So 4 plus 2 is 6. Therefore, I have 67 plus 4. Well, 67 plus 4, I know that 67 plus 3 is 70. 70 plus 1 will be 71. Positive 71 is the answer. Let's try another one. In this example here, I have 51 minus 62. So again, we're going to assume 51 is positive. Si negative 60, uh, minus 62 is a negative. I have a positive and a negative. When I have a positive and a negative, we're going to subtract. And I know that 62 is greater than 51. Therefore, my answer will be negative. So I know I'm going to have a negative answer, and I have to subtract 62 minus 51. Again, just like the last example, I'm going to break 51 up into, to a multiple of 10 and the ones place. So I know I have 62 minus 50 minus 1. To subtract 62 and 50, I just have to do 6 minus 5. Well, 6 minus 5 is 1, so I'm left with a 1, and then the 1's place. Subtracting one more is going to get me negative, and 12 minus 1 is 11. In this example, I have negative 93 minus 57. So I have two negatives, which means I'm going to add, and my answer is going to be negative. Negative answer. And I have to add 93 plus 57. I'm going to break 57 up into its components. 50 and 7. 93 plus 50 is just going to be 9 plus 5 and then a 3. So 9 plus 5 is 14 and then a 3 plus 7. I have my negative sign and 143 plus 7 is 150. In this example, I have 135 plus negative 56. So in the last video, we had gone over what to do when you have these double operations. So in this example, I have plus negative 56. Well, whenever I have an odd number of negatives or a positive and a negative, the integer will become negative. So I have positive 135 minus 56. I have a positive 135, a negative 156, so I know I'm going to subtract, and the answer is going to be positive. 
going to break. I'm going to break 56 up into its components. I just want to point out something really quick here. To subtract 135 and 50, we just have to do 13 minus 5. So 13 minus 5. I know I have a positive answer. 13 minus 5. Well, 13 minus 3 is 10. And 10 minus 2 is 8. So I know I have 85 and then minus 6 more. Positive answer. 85 minus 6. Well, 85 minus 5 is 80. 80 minus 1 is 79. Let's do another one. In this example, I have negative 204 minus a negative 116. So the first thing we need to fix here is this double operation. So I know I have negative 204. And a negative and a negative is going to be positive. A negative and a positive. I'm going to subtract. And then I look and I see that 204 is larger than 116. Therefore, my answer is going to be negative. So we have to do 204 minus 116. Negative. 204 minus. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to break 116 up into a multiple of 10 and a ones place. So I know I have 110 minus 6. In order to do 204 minus 110, I just simply have to do 20 minus 11. So 20 minus 10 is 10. 10 minus 1 is 9, 94. I know I have a negative answer. 94 minus 6, well, 94 minus 4 is 90. And 90 minus 2 is 88. In our last example today, we're going to do minus negative 187 plus negative 129, really putting your chart knowledge to work. First thing I have to do is simplify these um, double operations. So here I have negative negative 187, which is going to become positive 187. And then I have positive negative 129, which is going to be minus 129. We have a positive and a negative, so I'm going to subtract. 187 is larger than 129, therefore my answer is going to be positive. 187 minus 129. I'm going to break 129 up into its components. So I have 187 minus 120 minus 9. In order to do 187 minus 120, I just have to do 18 minus 12. So 18 minus 10 is 8, and then 8 minus 2 more is 6. So I'm left with 67 minus 9. Answer is going to be positive. 67 minus 7 is 60. 60 minus 2 is 58. So that's our last uh, example. If you have any questions, please ask your math teacher or send us an email, and we'll help you solve it. Thanks.